Hello everyone, welcome, 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 and welcome back to another video. You are watching Craft A Lot TV with your host Keisha. It's been a while since I've done a video, you all, but I'm back with another video, okay? So if you're new here, I would like to welcome you to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I have a lot of content in store for you all. So, <clears throat> excuse me, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make trending AI images using your name, okay? So we're going to do some 3D images. We are going to be using, we're going to be using Microsoft Bing, as you see. I have it here already on my iPad. I have done a video and showed you all how to get this. It is free to use, okay? Now, if you make images using the Bing um, image creator, you cannot sell these images. However, you can use them for personal use, okay? So, I pulled up Bing image creator, okay? And I'm going to go right here. If you can see me hovering over this, I'm going to go to the image creator, okay? So here we go. We have our 15 credits for today. Like I said, this is totally free. Um, if you want to um, use other AI generators, you can. However, I just want to show you all. That's just now getting started with playing around with AI designs. Um, I just want to show you all how you can do this. So again, we're going to be making um, <clears throat> 3D AI images using your name, and we're going to use Microsoft Bing to achieve that, okay? So I'm just going to start out by, I don't know, I'm just going to type some a prompt inside of here. So, um, we can get started with creating some images, okay? Not sure if we're going to use all 15 images for this here video, but I just want to show you how to do this, okay? So for our first prompt, we are going to do a 3D uh, colorful splash of pink, purple, and you can type whatever you want. Um, um, let's go name with gold text. I'm gonna put my quotations, okay? Sometimes it's going to give you um what you want. Sometimes you may have to regenerate, okay? All right, and I'm just coming up with a, a basic um a basic prompt. I kind of want the diamonds around the gold text. Not sure if it's going to give me that. But we'll see. All right, so... We just gonna go with that, okay? So I'm gonna hit create. As you can see, I forget to put some spaces towards the front, but that's okay. Most of the time I like to type my prompts in notes. That way I can see my entire prompt and then I'll copy it and come over here and paste it, okay? So this is what it gave me, okay? So as you can see, my prompt was very, Basic. I just put three colorful splash of pink, purple, um, with gold text. I put my name in quotations, and I wanted it surrounded by diamonds. Um, and I I also wanted it to include diamonds in the, the uh design. So here is one of the images. Here is another one of the images. Okay, and as you can see, well, this looks like an R right here. 
a lot of times when you're doing a uh, text, AI don't get it right. Okay. As you can see with this one, it did mess up the name. Now I also done a video where I show you how to correct um wording when AI doesn't get it right, but you want to use that image. Now I don't always um give you the same text or font, but you can pull this over and Canva and create it. And this here is stuff that a um Bing has found related to this type of image online. So Okay, so we are going to go back. I'm going to save these just because I might want to use them later. I think I did this like a few weeks ago. All right, so we are going to do another one, okay? So I am going to do... Um, Keisha, uh oh, Keisha. I'm actually gonna put that in quotations. So I'm putting Keisha in elegant gold typography. Um, with, um, white and purple butterflies. Um, add diamonds and um purple hearts within the design all right so you could be very specific you could be as detailed as you want um, you can add whatever elements that you want. Like I said, this is free. So you just play around with it. The more you play around with it, the better you will get. Um, I should have put this at the beginning, but it really doesn't matter. I want it 3D. All right. And I'm just going to hit create and we're just going to see what it gives us. Okay. So this is how you make an AI image with your name, okay? You want to give it time to do its thing. As you can see, it's really pretty, but it did mess up the spelling on all of them except for this one here, okay? So I'm just going to click on that just so you can see it. So as you can see, and the name kind of look messed up on here. It's not, I guess it's just the detail with the K. Um, And my I look like a J. But nonetheless, there you have it, okay? Like I said, sometimes AI, a lot of times AI messes up the names. Um, so you have to regenerate a few times just until you get it right, okay? So let's try another one. Um, so we're going to do a 3D, excuse me, colorful. Um, colorful splash of I'm gonna put crayons. <laughs> um, with the name, I'm just gonna make up a name.
So I put um let's see what all did I add on here? <laughs> 3D colorful splash of crayons with the name Ashley. Um let me put Ashley in quotations. Sometimes if you put it in quotations, it'll get the name right. But as you see, we've tried this and we've got some misspellings, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and just put that in quotations. Um, actually, I want Ashley in what color? Red diamonds? I don't know. Include several crayons, pencils, rulers. I want to make it kind of like a school thing. Um, I could have left this diamonds and rubies out, but I'm just going to leave it. All right, so let's just see what this give us, okay? I spelled rubies wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> so we're just going to let it do what it do. And we are going to see what it gives us, okay? There's no right or wrong way. You can keep trying. As you can see here, this is what it gave us. Those are really, really pretty. So if you wanted to do this, um, if you have a child, you wanted to do something like this for your student or your child to put on their, let's say their folders or something, you could. Look how cute that is. And like I said, we did just a very simple, basic prompt, okay? 3D colorful splash of crayons with the name Ashley and Rubies. Include several crayons, pencils, rulers, etc. Include diamonds and rubies within the design. So I added that so it could add diamonds and rubies like within the design, like outside, okay? So as you can see, this is really simple. It's really simple. Um, it's not hard at all. Um, let's see. Let's do another one. Let's do the name. Michael actually. <clears throat> Just making up names, y'all. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do the name Michael with fire smoke um and lightning. in the background include a red sports car um we wanted 3D rendering And also add this prompt probably don't make no sense, but let's just see what the get this give us. So I also added um included red sparks or 3D rendering, also add graffiti. Let's just see what it gives us. Usually if I sit down and just take my time and think this out. I can come up with some great prompts, but I just want to do this like just straight off the top of my head while I'm sitting here typing and talking to you all just to show you all it doesn't take much, okay?
It really don't. You just want to be detailed in what you want. Um, you can use as less details as you want or as much details as you want. And as you can see with what we just typed, this is what it gave us, okay? And these are really, really cute for a little boy, okay? So I put the name Sean with fire, smoke, and lighting in the background. Include a red sports car, 3D rendering, also add graffiti. Um, it didn't add graffiti to any of these, but I guess this kind of looked like graffiti right here. The name Sean does. Um, and then it spelled the name incorrect here, but those are really, really cute, okay? So we'll do one more, and then I'm going to end this video. I don't want to hold y'all for too long. Um, so let's do one that would be like a kind of sort of like a memorial type, okay? Because this is something, if you do designing, you could do something like this um, for like an obituary or for like a memorial um, thing. So... Let's just see. We are going to do, hmm, let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. All right, so we're going to do a elegant 3D, uh-oh, elegant 3D. Um, typography. With name. I'm going to just make up a name. With the name Barbara. Um. I'm going to include a elegant gold tiara. Tiara. <laughs> um, and diamonds. Okay. With sparkles and the background include clouds doves hints of purple y'all can see I like purple <laughs> hints of purple um, diamonds, pearls, and a stairway to heaven. Also include, this might be a bit much, but we're going to see what it gives us. Also, I'm going to put also include wings. Now, this is kind of sort of like a memorial type thing that we're going for. So, we're just going to click create and we're going to see what it gives us. Okay. So, like I told y'all, this is real easy to do. Okay. So, you're going to go to Bing. You're going to type in, use some prompts. Um, just be very specific in what you want. If it doesn't give you what you want on that first try, just try again. This is how you create trending images with your name, okay? If you want to include a name, you don't necessarily have to include a name. So as you can see here, these are really, really pretty, but what it did was it messed up our spelling, okay? So if you want to see how to correct the spelling um, using... Canva, you can, okay? If you wanted to regenerate these and take some stuff out or add some stuff in, you can, but that is what we have, okay?
like I said, those turned out really, really cute with the exception of the misspelling of the names, okay? Um, I think I'm going to try one more, you all. I'm going to try one more, and then we're going to be done, okay? I know I said that um last time, but we're going to try one more, <laughs> and then we're going to be done. Because I don't want this video to be too, too long, okay? So here we're going to do another one, all right? We're going to try to do like a... um. I don't know, maybe like a kitty, a kitty thing for like a girl. All right, so name, I'm gonna put my name in quotations. Um, I'm gonna do Madison. I'm not making up these names. I don't know nobody named Madison. <laughs> name Madison in hot pink. Okay. The background. More splashes of pink, purple, white, and let me do black. Um, include um let's see let's just do like a, a, a makeup thing I said something for a kid but we're gonna do like a makeup thing so let's say you have like a daughter that have does makeup you can use this as like a decal to put on like um her makeup case or makeup kit or something so we're gonna Put include makeup brushes and elements because I don't want to be typing too many. Um, Include diamonds within the design. Let's see what this gives us because it was very, very basic. <laughs> but we just going to see what we get. So hopefully y'all try this out. Like I said, you can to download Microsoft Bing or you can, um, you can do this on a computer. I'm just using my iPad because that's what's convenient for me right now. Um, you can download Microsoft Bing on your phone. If you have um, any smart device, you can download it there. And again, like I said, you can use, you can do this on your computer. Okay. You're going to go to the image creator. Once you set up you an account, um, you'll get 15 credits per day. But if you run out of is you can still create items okay so as you can see our prompt was very very basic for this okay but it came out really really cute okay so if you have a teen daughter that likes makeup this would be perfect to um do as a cutout maybe like a sticker for her or something so i just put the name madison in hot pink in the background include splashes of pink purple white and black include makeup brushes and elements um lip glosses etc include diamonds within the design so here's the first one Really, really cute. Here's the second one. As you can see, the name looked like it's spelled wrong, but this one is actually really cute. I like that better than the first one. Then we have this one, which is really cute as well. And then we have this one. Okay. So that is it for this video, you all. Hopefully you guys, <coughs> excuse me, enjoyed this video. Um, when I'm editing a video, I'll try to go ahead and add these little basic prompts that we use, um, down in the description. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. Um, and that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. Like I said, hopefully you guys try this out. 
playing around in AI is very fun. Creating your own designs is very relaxing. Um, and like I said, Bing is free. So don't worry about not knowing what to do or not knowing how to create a prompt. Just start typing. So whatever you want, just describe it just like that. If you want an image of a blue car with red wheels, type that and see what it gives you. Whatever it come back as, if you don't like it, you can regenerate. You can add more details or take away some details, okay? But again, like I said, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments. And until next time, you guys, bye.